If you're an avid viewer of the channel, you may have noticed that things have been a little bit quiet lately. And while I will say that some of that is just due to general life stuff, the key reason you've seen less of me these past months is because I've been using my spare time a little differently than usual. Hi there, I'm Matt, and uh, I'm making a video game. In fact, I'm actually making two video games. If you didn't already know, I currently work full-time as the lead programmer at Sondela Studios, a small indie team here in Vancouver, British Columbia. And while the team collectively have a number of games under our belt independently, we're all working together for the first time on the first game for the studio. It's been in development for a while, it's a simulation strategy game, and it's got a bunch of emergent storytelling features. Unfortunately, we're not ready to talk about it more than that yet, so I can't say much more about it at the moment, but I wanted to contextualize things a little bit first, as that game is an important part of this other game's story. Before going full-time with Sondlust in 2021, I had a lot of time to spend prototyping and working on various other projects. Often, I would work on systems and mechanics for a complex management game, many of which would inspire topics for videos here on the channel. However, it turns out that when you're working on a complex management game during the day, working on yet another complex management game after hours is not so great for the brain. So I pretty much stopped doing any kind of development outside of my full-time job for most of last year. I just had no drive to do any work because anytime I sat down to develop something, I'd have to open up this complex web of tasks and intricate systems that would basically require the entire hour or two I had spare to even start picking it back up. So I shelved a lot of that stuff and just figured that one management game was enough for the time being. It's not completely lost to the void forever though. A lot of the work I'd achieved on that project has made its way into the Sondalos project in some form or another. In fact, it's partly how I managed to get that job in the first place, which I'm sure I'll talk about on this channel at some point in the future. Anyway, one management game was enough for the time being, so while I was sad to stop working on something I dedicated a long amount of time to, I was pretty content with my choice and knew that I had become a better programmer and designer thanks to a lot of it. I also had a much better understanding of my own capabilities now though, so I knew if I was going to do something on the side, it had to be much smaller and much more digestible. For a while, I'd experiment with various prototypes and toys, or purely focus on stuff for these videos. But about eight months ago, things changed. Over the holiday period of 2022, I began working on a prototype for an arcade driving game. I'd never really worked on anything in that space before, so it was really appealing to me to see if I could make something that felt fun to pick up and play. I experimented to see if I could figure out a vehicle controller and get something fun up and running in a short amount of time. And this was a turning point. Pretty quickly, I was able to get a vehicle controller working that I could have fun driving around with. I was going for a very specific style of driving that was not realistic at all, but was still physics-based and fun to play with. After a little bit of experimentation, I managed to build something that I was happy with. I was interacting with physics objects and making jumps, and it was just a really nice toy to play with. And after the holidays, I went back to work full time, and in the evenings and weekends, I just kept working on it. So that's why videos have been a little bit lax so far this year, because I've been making a game, and I'm finally ready and confident enough to talk about it publicly. It's called Cabs of Chaos, and it's a single player and local multiplayer competitive taxi arcade game. In a post-capitalist world where a single company has a total monopoly over the rideshare industry, its drivers are in a race to the bottom and are pitted against one another to deliver passengers to their destination in the fastest and most chaotic ways possible. Fundamentally, the project is pretty small in scope, but most importantly for me, a lot of the tasks on the project are super digestible. Many of the core features are actually already functional. I have driving physics, object destruction, passenger logic, basic traffic, and opponent behaviors all working to some degree or another, which is why I'm happy to start talking about it. At this point, while there's still quite a long way to go before anything is truly playable, a lot of the fundamental building blocks are in place. The game has a few design goals that every decision I'm making is tested against. Essentially, I'm trying to build an arcade racer that's vibrant and responsive, is maximum fun and humorous where possible, and has lots of personality and character. These three pillars really allow me to lock into certain game mechanics and have helped me in coming up with a specific look and feel for the game with an energetic Saturday morning cartoon aesthetic. I'm really excited about producing something that you can sit down on your own or with a friend and have an absolute blast playing, be it for a short amount of time or for hours on end. For me, I just really want to capture the experience I felt from some of the PlayStation 2 era titles I used to play with my friends and fondly look back on. So, I'm going to keep working on it and see where this thing goes. 
I'm not gonna stop producing tutorials, that'll still be the prime focus of the channel, and I already have a new video in the works right now. But whenever I have some progress worth talking about on the game, I'll make a little devlog video like this to discuss with you. In the meantime, it's far faster and easier for me to write blog posts about all the small things I'm up to. So I'm gonna be using Patreon a lot more and posting micro updates on there. In fact, a few of those are already available for current patrons. So if you're interested in supporting the project financially, you can join the Patreon for as little as $1 and get access to all of these devlog posts. I'll likely also make playtests available for higher tier patrons in the future as well. Alternatively, I'll be chatting about it over on Discord, so that's free, so you're welcome to come hang out there if you wanna ask any questions or learn more. Links below for both of those. But that's about it for now. Uh, it's a little nerve wracking, but I'm really hoping you like the idea. There's a long road ahead and I'm excited about sharing more of Cabs of Chaos with you. So if you wanna catch the next update, do be sure to subscribe to the channel, thumbs up the video, and let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you again next time.